Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we are starting a series of videos where we're going to go through Design Space and do some of the projects that they have listed there. We're always looking for what can we do with this Cricut? Well, they already have plenty of projects there showing us what to do. So we're going to explore some of the projects over the next few weeks so that as we get closer to the holiday season, we already have a plan. We already have gifts planned out. So I am going to be posting these, of course, on YouTube as well as Procrast Creation DIY, my website. So you can go to either one of those to start learning some of these things that we can do with the Cricut. Of course, I'm going to keep up with my other projects with my sublimation printer, um, with the tumblers, but we're going to dedicate a day where we are working on things on our Cricut. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. So before we get started with our first project, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when the newest and latest comes out. So thank you and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, of course, is be in design space. So once we're in design space, there are several different projects that are ready to be made. Um, from iron on to cardboard to whatever the season is they normally list them here I'm going to go under Cricut Access um, Cricut Access is denoted by the green little tab with the A on it um, and there's a monthly subscription that goes along with that um, so here since i know what i want to do with you can see all of the different projects that would be in all of those other categories but um, since i know what we're doing today i am going to hit planter so my screen recorder is doing something crazy so i have no idea it stops after so many seconds but we're going to keep going now um so again i don't know where this thing stopped at so um, but as you go through this list, it's just giving you all of those things. And if you're okay with the size, you're going to hit make it. If you're not okay with the size and you need to make any kind of adjustments, you're going to hit customize. So let's customize it here. It's saying project already exists on Canvas, and that's because I opened it up before I record it. So I'm going to hit replace. Normally I would hit save because I've I haven't saved something that I should have. So now that we're in the project is in design space, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make it the size that I want. So I'm just going to make it just a little bit longer. It was an inch. I'm going to make it an inch and a half or thereabouts, and I'm going to make it three and a half inches. So, and then the one thing that I wanted to show you on this is the seed packet. Um, is that one you have that dotted line because again it's going to score then you have a solid line for where it's going to cut and then you have those words there for where the pen is going to actually write basil on the packet for us so now that we have the size where we want it we're going to go ahead and hit make it and here um, we don't need to do anything because our vinyl is going to um, be cut to this size and then we have here again our packet which you see it says it's going to score it draw it and then cut it so those are where we need them to be so we can just hit continue and from here it looks for your machine and then after it finds your machine, you're going to say, depending on which tab you're on, you're going to tell it what type of materials you have. Since we are on this tab, which you can tell because it's lighter in the so and the color of the rest of this um, rectangle here. So we know that we're on this tab. So we're going to hit premium vinyl. If you made a mistake and picked the wrong, you can always click on the words and then either go back, select something different, or select browse all materials. Then you can always type in what you want and go to it that way. So again, my premium vitamin was already selected, so I'm just going to leave that there. 
for the pressure I'm gonna do more just because that's what I do so um, from here it's just letting me know that I don't need the clamping tool now I will need it when I get to the um, seed packet because I'll need it for the pin um, but here we need the fine blade clamp B so I'll have to load my clamp B and then right now I'm already blinking so that I can load my map so we're going to go ahead and show you the rest of this process through the other camera okay so the next part of our process is to actually get the worst cut out if you don't have one of these rollers I got wires everywhere sorry then I would suggest getting one like I love my little roller all right so anyways so from here like I said I had the blinking arrows oops got the wrong blade in so I need to change my blade to my fine point blade and that was as easy as that um, opening in the cartridge putting the taking the new the old blade out and put the new blade in and then I'm just gonna hit my arrow and then after I do that I have the blinking cricket button so I'm gonna hit that and then it's going to cut what I need so while it's doing that I'm gonna get my next um, set of materials so we'll be back after it does its cut okay so it has cut the lettering which you won't be able to really see on the camera so when you pull stuff off your mat you're supposed to pull the mat away from the paper um, and that's that and so now when we do our next piece And I'm putting on a piece of butcher paper because that's what it asked for. And I'm going to load this. Um, I am also, I'm looking at the screen, so I am also going to load my pen. So, and see with the pen, you just push it down. There's an arrow telling you which way, which the pen should only go one way anyway. And I'm also going to load my scoring tool. So, now that I've done that, I'm going to hit my Cricut button. And we're going to watch this for a little bit. And do a little multitasking while we do that. So right now it is scoring it, which is our whole purpose for putting the scoring wheel in. So again, you know, multitasking is your friend. Okay, so it actually I said it was scoring and it was writing the words on there. So I'm going to hit the button. So now it's telling me that I need to do my load, my fine blade. Because I should just follow the instructions, huh? And so now it's going to cut the outer edge. You know, some people when they read, they make it look so simple. And I like be wondering if my blades are dull or something because I don't have that look where I can just go without a whole bunch of when the stuff is thin without having a lot of issues. 
and it's sticking on the stuff. Ugh. Still annoying. Okay, so now. It is finished, so tell me I can take it out. Hey, yo! why for a long time I had that shirt on my Etsy shop that said really because I feel like I say that a lot when I'm doing stuff all right so let's just go ahead and finish weeding this to show y'all all of the wonderfulness that goes wrong so when I weeded this I obviously took off well it won't be obvious until I do this I took off the bottom half of the bee so now I need to recut this so that I can get the right part so I'm gonna recut this but before I do I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the other parts and then I'll do this off screen so you don't have to watch it again so here again What the heck? Not my day. Ah. So what I didn't do is change the material. So I should have changed the material to paper and I wouldn't have this issue. But luckily it cut enough where I can still get what I need. Um, but I should have changed the materials because it wasn't vinyl that it was cutting. So here we have all of our pieces. So that'll be our basil envelope. I'm gonna stick a little glue here. I'm gonna stick a little glue right here. And then I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna glue both of those that down. Then I'm gonna put a little glue right here and then I'm gonna glue that down and then that'll be my packet top. So there is the envelope and as you can see, like even this, if you wanted to give anybody more seeds, you would you have would have made it larger in the customized part of this, um, of the design space. So, but that is that piece of it. And like I said, I need to recut the letters. Okay, so your next step is just putting um, some transfer paper over top. And I buy this roll from Amazon, but you can get transfer paper from pretty much anywhere. And transfer paper for most of the vinyl or you can get Cricut transfer paper. So I will have a um, link to that below um, to this roll. And then if you want to use something else, of course, you're more than welcome to do that. So here, just want to make sure it adheres to that transfer paper pretty good. And then you can adhere it to the item that you want. So I am using this cute little thing right here, which has dirt in it. So probably shouldn't do it with dirt in it, but this was a plant that I've killed. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
maybe this one will have better luck since it has a new design on the thing and it'll be like, oh, I look good. I feel good. I'm not going to die. <laughs> oh, goodness. I cracked myself up. I know. My boys tell me I'm not funny all the time. Like, who did it better? Maybe we should start doing that. Like, did Cricut Design Space do it better or did we do it better? So, here we go. And I'll take a picture of this guy so you guys can really get a good look at it. But, ba bam. See how I try to make that ink match? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Did you see it? Mm. All right. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. So I will see you all the next time. Take care.